Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to awaken all race V4 before update 20 in Bloxfoods. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel. And this will really help us make better videos. Okay, guys, let's start with the requirements. First, you need to be in C3, Bit Indra, Murfractal, Mirage Island. Guys, this is easier now. Find the gear. Unlock trials. Also, you need to have V3 on your race that you want to awaken. Oh, we got a barrier fruit. Not bad. Anyways, I won't be showing you the trials. I have a video of that. Easiest to hardest. So I'm gonna focus on the skills. So first up, we got the shark race. Okay, so we will be focusing on the two skills when you've awakened this race. So first up is the whirlpool. So guys, this one slows and lowers the defense of the enemy every time you hit them so guys it will stack okay so th there you go the more you hit your enemies check it out there's a whirlpool again this one is slows check how slow the enemy is and lowers the defense of your enemy next up check the hp of our character when he's awakened every hit from you will become an extra barrier okay so check it out the moment that i hit the enemy there you go there's a barrier okay so this skill can be upgraded. So our, the first one that we upgraded into tier 2 is the Whirlpool, right? So this one can be upgraded. The moment that you upgrade this skill, you will have uh, more barrier. Also, the regeneration of the barrier increases. So time to increase the tier of the Leviathan skin. There you go. Again, the capacity. And every hit will give you more charge. I mean more barrier. So as you can see guys, how big the blue thing is. That is the barrier. So let's see how much it can tank. <laughs> Maybe two to three hits. See that guys? Zero. Zero. Oh, no more barrier. Oh, from a 2300 damage, it was able to tank, I think, more than 5k. That is the shark race. Make sure to rate all the races from 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 the highest. Please rate the shark race. Okay, so next stop. What race will we get? Oh, Angel Race. One of the best for me. This is one of my favorite, okay? So let's try it. There are two skills again that I want to emphasize on. First up is the King's Rule. Guys, bow down to the King. Check this out. This one's really good on NPC and raid mobs, even bosses, but not good on island bosses. So guys, check this out. These mobs won't be able to move anymore. But for bosses, check this out. They can still damage you from time to time. So again, if you want to finish raids, you can do this. The, even the bosses won't move. But on island bosses, this is kind of useless. So guys, you just need to hold Q in order to fly. And double tap spacebar and hold the spacebar on the second tap. And stay airborne. Okay, for the next skill, there you go. Prince of the Skies. So you will just fly faster. You still have this one. The King's Rule skill. But for the second, oh, I killed my friend, my brother. <laughs> this one, this one's now faster. So this is a double space bar, but make sure to hold it on the second tap. And this one is uh, hold the Q or the dash. So let's compare. Obviously, the right one's faster, right? Okay, so that's it. Rate Angel Race. Comment it in the comment section. Which one's better, Shark or Race? Next stop, what will we get? Rabbit race. Okay. Hmm. So this one is for me. It's not really good. I'll be honest, guys. Not really good. Kind of disappointed. First stop is the lightning. Okay, this one. Lightning cloak. Okay. Tier to dash. Just dash. Longer dash. And if you hold the dash, you'll have an extra dash. And that one's really long. Okay. Again, Q. Hold the dash. There you go. And that's it, guys. Okay. Maybe you will run faster, etc. Also, every time you dash, you will notice a whirlwind. It's really small. There you go. Also, a reminder, the dash has no damage. I don't know why. It should have. See that, guys? No damage. Kind of sucks. But the whirlwind has damage. Even though it's small, there you go. Okay. So, for the second skill, the whirlwind, you will have uh, larger or bigger whirlwinds. There you go. But you don't have the extra dash. But you still have longer dashes. Okay? There you go, guys. This is race V4 Rabbit. Maybe we will just rank them, right? So there you go. Okay, moving on. Next up. 
think one more race, right? We need the human. For this one, please give you the human. Oh, shark again. That's 3k fragments wasted. Please, please, please give me the human. Okay. Oh, angel re-roll. There you go, guys. Okay. For the first skill that we want to talk about is the limit break. As you can see, there is a gauge or meter on the lower part of the screen and it is zero, right? So the, every time it increases, the damage will increase. Let me show you proof. So there you go, we're gonna kick him. 2,108 damage at zero gauge, right? Meter. As you can see, now we have uh, 89 and let's kick an enemy. There you go, guys. 3,045. Also, avoid getting hit because if you got hit, the meter will decrease fast, okay? So next up guys, hmm. if you're gonna ask me the limit break is better, Psycho guys will just increase the range of your Soru. Uh, attacks can be cancelled, there you go. That one is also good for combos. Again, Soru, you have 3 Sorus, right? Longer range and faster cooldown. And that's it. Anyways, I almost forgot for the limit break, if you're tier 2, 150 is max, tier 1, 100. Moving on, next up, guys, the goal race. Also, make sure to rate the human race V4. Okay, so inside this domain, this is how it looks like. There you go. Once you use your dash, wait, I'm gonna show. There you go. Crows will attack the enemy. So, screen's kind of dark, and there are damages. So, this is the domain expansion skill. So, we have another skill. Okay, girl, the blood siphon. So choosing to increase the care of this skill will give you more lifesteal. No more crow, sorry. There you go. But I think, hmm, I think the crow is better. Anyways, check that out. Check the HP regeneration. Large HP regen if you oof an enemy or defeat them. Check that out. Boom. See that guys? Check the HP. Boom. This is, uh, this is what I got from defeating my friend. Okay, so I think this is the last one. For me, this is one of the best for grinding the Cyborg race. Check this out too, guys. Even if you already unlock, make sure to have extra fragments because, check that out, I have 254,000, right? The moment I accept this, 252,000. So you will still get charged. Okay. Anyways, back to the skill. First up is energy control. Double jump, no instinct needed. There you go. Check it out. See that, guys? Actually, I'm just gonna focus on this skill. Just pick this one, okay? Don't mind the other one. Again, I told you one of the best races for grinding, and I'm gonna show you that. Check that out, guys. Auto lure nearby mobs, because it will automatically attack the enemies. Also, guys, check the damage. Woo so, guys, I'm gonna show it to you, okay? After that, I'm gonna head to the chocolate land, and then. Like enemies, lure, defeat them, boom, head to the other side, see that guys? And I think if done correctly, you will have unlimited awakening gauge, okay? There you go. So I think guys, that's it for this video. Please make sure to rate all races, comment it in the comment section. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.